Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka is brought to you by Veolia, the official sustainability partner of the PPA Tour. By Deep Eddie Vodka, dive in. By Carvana, serving happiness all season long. By Skechers, conquer the court in comfort. By Baird, the official wealth management partner of the PPA Tour and by Fila. To play like a pro, you need to dress like one. All right, okay, Michelle. Good. good morning, Michelle. Hello and welcome back to the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Our final day here, bronze medal matches here on Grandstand Court. Rob Cassidy, Michelle Esquivel here to bring you the action. Thank you for joining us this morning. We got a good one to start us off. Our mixed doubles bronze medal match for the day. Colin Johns and Tina Pisnik squaring off against Megan Dazan and Tyson McGuffin. Grandstand Court has been popping all weekend. We got one more final day here. And this is for podium, folks. This is to get that first, second, third. This is where it's at and uh, a lot on the line. So 
getting ready to get started here. And good morning to Michelle. Michelle, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rob. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you guys for being here. We'll start off with a quick shout out to some of our sponsors, Yola, Lifetime, Carvana, and Skechers for making this happen. The engines are ready. Sides have been picked. Serve has been selected. The ball has been chosen. 9 a.m. sharp, Sunday, April 21st. Here we go. Yeah, we have some exciting players on the court. Uh, Tyson McGuffin, known as the most electrifying man on the court. Uh, definitely a great singles, doubles, mixed player. Um, awesome, awesome. He's been around since day one, I feel like. Beck, a true veteran of the sport. Yeah. Um, great family man. You'll see him on Instagram. Has a lot of great content and great posts. Love him. He's playing with Megan Dizon out of Utah. Megan's also had an amazing tournament this time around, playing women's with Etta Wright, making it to the semifinal match. She's been improving every single tournament. She is definitely the player to look out for um, every tournament going towards those medals. Yeah, and uh, you know, Tyson McGuffin, he's been around the scene for a while. I had the pleasure of calling one of his matches at the TOC final, you know, a handful of years ago, I believe it was 2018. <laughs> uh, he's got at least two tournament of champions, men's doubles titles under his belt, one with uh, Morgan Evans. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then, uh, yeah, that's and a name I remember. The other with Matt Goebel. Wow. Yeah. So here we are. More hot action here at the LA Open 2024. We are underway. Game one. Mixed doubles bronze medal match. Heavy swings from Colin Johns. Dialed in. First point one in just three shots. Pickleball 2024. Another third shot drive option. Two for two. Missed drop volley from Pisnik. First side out of the match. Good morning, people. Oh, and huge swipes from Megan Dazan. Giving it right back. The seal is broken on both sides. 1-1 one, one here, game one. Jab there from Megan. The pros make it look easy. Somebody attacking you point blank and just resetting it right where you want like that. World class pickleball. Nice. Crowd's getting into it. Some Tina Pisnik fans in the audience. Might be a couple Tina Pisnik fans in the booth. <laughs> fans of all four of these players here. Talked about Tyson and Megan a little bit. On the near side here, we have Tina Pisnik and uh, the Colin Johns, which is nice to see him have a nice late run with uh, some uh, some mixed here, making a statement. You know, yes, absolutely. He's not just a counterpart of the greatest men's doubles team of all time, but uh, a fantastic mixed player in his own right. Smooth. Oh, and that poke is out. Just a great eye by Colin Johns. He's seen that ball thousands of times before. It's not easy to train yourself to let that ball go out or identify out balls, but 
a very important skill to have. And the compact swings of Colin Johns takes it down. Rocking that Yola Scorpius signature paddle. Tina Pisnik wielding the Pro XR. And a lofty third there. Two out of three is not bad. High. Easy checkmate down the sideline for Tina Pisnik. Ooh. Tough missed return there. Perhaps a difficult bounce. Ruffin scraps it out, settles in. Out. Colin Johns to serve. Tie game here. Oh. No. Yeah. Megan walks into the, the, to the lion's den. <laughs> Takes his food. just so good. Not just a winner attempt anymore, it's an initiate into setting up a combination of shots It's going to win you that point. Cross court between the ladies here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> McGuffin strikes first, McGuffin falls first. The court 13. The ever ready Second Colin court. Johns. Defended. And great follow-up pressure from Dizan. Loving the Ernie setup from McGuffin there. World-class pickleball at its finest. Three, five, nice serve by McGuffin. wondering why uh, these players are not stacking on the serve. It's because McGuffin has a huge serve, right? It applies a lot of pressure, so players decide to stay on Megan Dizon's serve. They decide to stack. Yeah, you want to switch, but remembering that you don't necessarily have to, and if they're punishing you for it, just opting not to, and saving some court positioning there. It's high percentage. Mm -hmm. Smoke and shot from Dizan. Megan Dizan, one of our only players uh, in two of the bronze medal matches we are going to have today. That's an impressive uh, tournament there. Yes. Double podium opportunity. of the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shutting down that sideline. Seal the deal. Five, six, two. Aye, tough one. And you can hear the midpoint communication from Colin Johns during that point.
Yeah, Megan Dizon will also be in the women's doubles uh, bronze medal match later today. Seamless reset from Colin Johns. Awesome point. That women's doubles bronze will be Megan Dizon and Etta Wright versus the Brasha sisters which it will be nice to see Megan and Etta play one more time during this tournament. It has been so fantastic watching them play. And all of the bronze medal matches will happen today here on Grandstand Court. LA Open 2024. Look of the lob just kind of, yeah. you know, really elevated there on that overhead. Yeah. It's a good lob look for sure. Pisnik staying solid as usual. And a timeout is called by Dazan and McGuffin. Down two points here in game number one of the bronze medal match. On this first time out, I'll take one second to go over the matches we have today. We are starting off with mixed doubles happening right now. 8-6 in game one. Women's singles to follow. Caitlin Christian and Lacey Schneeman. Men's doubles, men's singles, women's doubles, all happening today. Looking forward to it, Michelle. Yeah, and everyone's journey to the bronze medal matches have been tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking over the draw. Um, if you guys were following along at home, Tina Pisnett, Colin Johns be, uh, defeating Anderson Scarpa and Cass Hogue, 11-9, 12-10. Then playing against Travis Rettenmeyer, Lacey Schneeman, winning in three, 11-3, 10-12, 11-7. -3, and also defeating the Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, 5-11, 11-6, 11-7. A lot of three gamers could have just as well been uh, different looks out here, but these are the teams that made it to do battle in this bronze medal match. Yeah. Colin Johns coming back strong. And the timeout does not work for McGuffin and Dizon. They were knocked down. Uh, Tina Pisnick, Colin Johns were knocked down by Anna Bright and Ben Johns, 11-3, 11-2. Mm. Sorry, big brother. McGuffin getting huge there, but I, I, I like it, you know. A lot of court we coverage. Have a game point for the bronze medal. Going to CJ and Tina Pisnik. Nice display. Championship Sunday here, guys. Bronze medal matches for the podium. We got these matches are a best of three, whereas Championship Court is, of course, doing those best of fives in their scenarios. So game one, critical. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.
Zero, zero, two, game two. Nice smack from CJ. Yeah, and, and Maddie, see, I'm very impressed with Colin Johns' mixed doubles game here. Um, stepping it up, being aggressive at the right times, not giving up too much court. It's how he approaches everything in life, right? He comes prepared, he comes focused, and the results show. It's a tough miss, and really just a beautiful setup on that serve return alone from McGuffin, getting her that opportunity. Tyson's doing his best to kind of stay free flowing, and I really like it. I think if he can maybe weather the storm, might be able to push through here. just out. I think it landed in. Lob. lob yeah. Oh, just out. kind of the pressure that Pisnik and Colin put on you that you have to start to create things that normally you might not. Drive into a fifth. Volley into seventh. Shot volley, forcing the air on Megan Dazon. Colin Johns is definitely aggressive here in this bronze medal match. that we're used to. He's got a much better focus today. I feel like this is a big statement match for him here. You know, I am more than just whatever anybody, any box that anybody wants to put. Right here, world-class mixed doubles player on grandstand court, Colin Jones. And with his aggressive play, Megan Dazon and Tyson McGuffin call a timeout. They've also had a great showing here in mixed doubles. They defeated Liz Trulock and Wan Wang. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 11-7, <laughs> 11, seven, 11 one. Then defeating Yame Martinez Vic and Mary Brasha, 11-8, 11-8. Eight, eight. Also defeating Lauren Stratman and Hayden Patrick Quinn, 11-7, 11, 11-4. So they've, they had games. such, such a great tournament and then falling short against Thomas Wilson, Vivian David, who will also be in the finals gold medal match today, uh, losing 11-9, 11-2. Nice, and you can check those matches out on Pickleball TV, That's Championship right. Court, happening today as well. But in the meantime, around the world, it's a fantastic morning here on Grandstand Court. Timeout over, 5-0-2 in game two. Six. Zero two. Yeah, that timeout just did not work. Hey, all things considered, I will say, Tyson McGuffin does have a fresh pair of sketchers on right now. Looking fresh out there. Yeah, Megan is on, you know, it's hard to come out um, after a long weekend to a bronze medal match, um, not getting any play before this match. It's so it's it's a it's tough. Whole new day. Mm -hmm. A lot of grinding yesterday. Staying di diligent here. Ooh.
gives Megan Nizan and Tyson McGuffin this side out. Finally, after eight points. Point of the match going to Dizan McGuffin. Can they turn it around? Just miss. Time to go. McGuffin's just brewing. Just ready to ready to explode here. Oh, warning on the serve. That was a fantastic follow-up of the serve. It was. <laughs> <laughs> McGuffin getting big. Patience for Megan. Oh, and a missed pin from Colin. So much, so much at the same time. Pisnik is locked in, by the way. Yeah. And great patience from Megan Jazan. There was a little bit of a bait ball there. She just cross-court dinked it. Jazan's got that Acrotech shirt on, one of her many sponsors, one of her big sponsors, Acrotech. They do some great work with courts, pickleball courts. Acrotech, Megan Jazan. It doesn't hold on. No good look. Checks with the refs. They they can't overturn that. And tough to tell on the replay since Tina Pisnik's in the way there. Great screen by Pisnik. <laughs> it's a tough attempt by uh, McGuffin. Out. There it is. <laughs> Tina Pisnik, Colin Johns is no easy puzzle to solve. Quite sure if that one was going to land in, and it does. Like you mentioned earlier, Michelle, these points occurring under three shots, four shots, but mm -hmm. uh, different from the uh, Kovalova right match that we saw, which was very grindy. Match point, everybody. And they hold him off for the first. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready for this match to be over. <laughs> I want to see some more McGuffin, Colin Johns action. that bold shot from Pisnik there. Yeah, I don't mind it, especially at 110. <laughs> Might as well. Sure. Finally, Tyson is definitely getting the ball and he just wants to put down and all match he's been looking for that. That's how tough the competition is here in this bronze medal match. He shakes and bakes. in. Another netter. Yeah, to the Tisnik backhand for another point. Loving it. This is what we've been waiting for. I like how McGuffin looked like he was going to speed up that ball and then places it just right into the spot of that backhand. Tina Pisnik. Smart play. High IQ from Tyson McGuffin. Good. Ever ready, Tina Pisnik. She's got her eye on McGuffin as he does his work. Megan Jazan rocking that proton paddle. Five 
five ten two. Metal point here for Pisnik and Johns. Yeah! Colin Johns, Tina Pisnik. Colin works out a big war as he gets his bronze medal match with, with his partner, the Pickleball Getaways crew. <laughs> and a high energy put away. Putting it in the books, see Colin Johns, Tina Pisnik, showing up to the office, getting the job done. That's how the Johns roll. High energy, great play, and solid performance from uh, Pisnik there. You know, McGuffin and, and Dazan, uh, did you see anything in their decision making that maybe, you know, they could have? Yeah, I, I kind of thought that they could have gone behind Colin a little bit more with his backhand volley, but in game number one, Colin Johns was just coming over and putting the pressure on the Ernie. Um, but, I mean, you got to find something, and it just went too fast for McGuffin and Dizon. No easy task, and I really love the way that we saw McGuffin end that match. Imagine if he started like that. What kind of different uh, display. But it is early here. You're just getting started here on Grandstand Court. Up next, we have our women's singles. Uh, Caitlin Christian versus Lacey Schneeman on Grandstand Court. Michelle? Yeah, and uh, speaking of McGuffin, he's going to be going to his men's gold medal match on Championship <laughs> Court with Martina Vic, Martinez Vic uh, versus the Johns. So, okay. so McGuffin will face Colin Johns again. How about that? In All that right, point. I might be switching over to that for that match. All right, I got I to gotta <laughs> see that. No, nice. we're going to be here. Nice. You guys got options today. Pickleball <laughs> TV, LA Open 2024, also the YouTube channel. We appreciate you guys joining us here. Women's singles, bronze medal match coming up next. Christian Schneeman. We'll be right back. Imagine that the coming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine. Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Pickleball experts. Reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. Pickleball journey, our experts are here to help.
Introducing Versix Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Neolia. Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. Go ahead, live your best life. Reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Neolia. Pickleball journey, our experts are here to help.
introducing Verse 6 Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you ask for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experience enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. Go ahead, live your best life. tomorrow sustainable and desirable reconciling human progress and environmental protection Veolia. Pickleball journey, our experts are here to help.
Introducing Versix Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you ask for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. And welcome back to the final day of the Veolia LA Open 2024 presented by Deep Eddie Vodka here on Grandstand Court. Welcome back, everybody. We have our women's singles bronze medal match coming up next here. Rob Cassidy here with Michelle Esquivel. Michelle. Yes, we are going to have an amazing match between number eight seed Caitlin Christian and number six seed Lacey Schneeman. They are both pumped up. They both really want this. So let's see what happens as a bronze medal match unfolds. Every match counts. This is for podium. Ooh, her paddle almost touched in that kitchen, but there's a no call there. Zero, zero. Game to 11, win by two. Oh, wow. Oh. Getting that paddle on it, forcing one more ball and getting that side out. Caitlin Christian on the far side. Ball in hand. Might be a new name to the household, but she's been around the game for, the, for a while in addition to her extensive tennis background. Oh, heavy, smooth, Caitlin Christian on a mission today. Yeah, oh. 
Nice shot. Caitlin Christian's first winning passing shot of here in game number one. He takes the net, unsuccessful on that slice backhand. Might have been going for a drop there. Keep the ball away from Caitlin. 3-0 now. Oh. Pretty drop from Schneeman. Time for her to put some points on the board for herself. Off the net and point. Said it several times this weekend, I'll say it again. Better an inch high than an inch low <laughs> when dealing with that pesky net. Lacey Schneeman with her first passing shot for the first point. Great ideas, would have been wild. And a 3-0 lead is reduced to one point here. 2-3, game one and a best of three here. Wow, blistering shot. Lacey Schneeman's first point one at the baseline there. Nice. First point one at the baseline. Interesting statistic thus far. Oh, that count as the second. <laughs> nice serve, free point. You can't even say free point. You gotta, you know, you put a little risk into the serve and you get the reward. It's a good serve. Oh. Had to get extra low for that one. Miss hit on the contact there, ball sails out. Caitlin Christian looking to pick up where she left off. open space created by all the options she has on that forehand she held it just long enough <laughs> Kaylin Christian had to pick a spot Lacey Schneeman goes elsewhere Of these players utilize their footwork to their advantage, giving them the best accuracy that they can on their passing shots. Look out for both of these ladies' inside out forehands. Mm. And there's a freebie for the Schneeman. Tie game 5 5. Bronze medal match, grandstand court, LA Open 2024. Strong dictation from Lacey. Second miss serve in a row. Yeah, I mean, in singles, you know, 
you have to apply the pressure very first shot, which is a serve. So, um, you know, missing the serve is a little bit more common in singles than you would see in doubles. Drop volley, and it's too good. Nice. We have a Yalme Martinez Vich sighting on the sideline here, getting ready for his gold medal match. Yalme Martinez Beek. Also known as Buffy. It's nice to see him in a championship Sunday. It's also nice to see Schneeman and Christian battling it out here on grandstand. Here we go. Oh, deep to the corner and sets herself up. Nice little fist bump there. She's on to something. Michelle, you play singles. It is a grind out there. It's uh, all about getting your footwork together and, and picking your spart, uh, spots. Oh, and that's a timeout for Lacey Schneeman. Nice. Now, let's take this. Can we take this timeout so for me to ask you a couple questions? Sure. Do you know any these 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 nice women? Um, Do we extensive ever? extensive tennis backgrounds. Do we ever? Um, so both ladies actually from well. Caitlin Christian from Southern California. She okay. was a tennis star um, as a junior, went to play at USC. Uh, shout out to Elson de Cantuaria from Matchpoint Tennis Academy, where she trained in her junior tennis career and, and where I worked as a coach. Really? So it's a small world. And uh, Lacey Schneeman uh, living in LA right now. So both of these ladies come to this uh, Los Cab Sports Village to train. Um, we've got the Brashas here. Uh, shout out to Vinnie Brasha for um, doing such a tremendous job at, you know, organizing the pickleball here. Nice. Wow, I didn't know that. Caitlin Christian, you know, uh, studied under the great Elsa. Oh, yeah. Elsa. He is the master <laughs> from uh, Brazil. One of the finest tennis instructors in California. I would, I would say. All right, here we go. Game number one, eight, five. Caitlin Christian leads by three. Ah. And there's that inside out forehand. And I bet Elson's somewhere kicking himself. We've seen Caitlin Christian out here playing pickleball instead of tennis. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> nice. Again, that inside out forehand, she's she's able to not only go inside out, but inside in, going down the line, picking several different spots, keeping Lacey Schneeman on her toes. I love it. Oh, three in a row. That inside out, really taking its toll. Yeah, and, and Caitlin Christian serve, again, applying a tremendous pressure. And a casual game taken by Caitlin Christian. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Game one going to Caitlin Christian. Got a minute between games, two minutes between games, excuse me. On a mission. Love to see it. That's one of the things that I see and with, you know, individuals with that extensive tennis background, just, you know, elite athleticism all around, not just physically, but mentally, you know, the mental toughness out there that comes with that tennis background. I love it. Lacey Schneeman also in a gold medal match today in women's doubles oh, wow. with Vivian Glossman. Remember, they were here in Grandstand oh, yeah. Court yesterday. Oh, yeah. um, if you guys want to take a look back, go to YouTube and watch that match. It was amazing uh, versus Megan Nizan and Edda Wright. Yeah, yeah, great match, tight, came down to it. Mm -hmm. So a uh, gold medal opportunity for Schneeman and Schneeman and Vivian Glossman, the number ah, six Glossman. seed, who will be playing against number one seed Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrbacher. I'll tell you, Michelle, you know, as far as the new guard of players coming into the game, I don't see anybody really striking the ball better than Glossman in that in oh, the, on the double scene. I wouldn't agree more. Also, a tremendous serve. All right, game two, Lacey Schneeman on the far side to serve. Inches away from taking it that point to the cat and mouse game. Yeah, 
Another point, another fist bump. Mm -hmm. I always like to see the fist pump. Shout out to Jose Derisi. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Just gorgeous blueprint of a point. Just attacking from all sorts of different angles. Ball stayed in. Caitlin yeah. Christian cruising. Lacey Sheeman, you know, her returns have been falling a little short. So Caitlin Christian has been taking advantage of getting to that ball a little earlier and, and punishing with her with her thirds. Aye. And Lacey Sheeman with a missed return calls a timeout here in game number two. Let's go ahead and take a break as the players take a break. Don't go anywhere, you guys. We will be right back. We're back here at the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Caitlin Christian serving 4-0 here in game number two of the bronze medal match. And comes in from a side out with another point and fist pump. Another one of those matches where there's plenty of takeaways for players at home. Just beautiful uh, structure to these points by Caitlin Christian. She's using her options well, opening up the court with different looks. And that back, that inside out forehand, like you mentioned, is really what feels like almost baffled Schneeman, where she doesn't really know where to be now. Another nice, deep, loopy serve from Caitlin Christian. She's in the zone. Caitlin Christian, 7-0. Beautiful passing shot. Caitlin Christian in the house, everybody. And if you're wondering, there's a lot of real estate on that uniform of Caitlin Christian. She is a free <laughs> agent. So, and I'm officially her representative. So reach out to me if you're looking to sponsor or support the great Caitlin Christian. Caitlin Christian also um, drafted onto the MLP Arizona Drive team. Nice. So congratulations to her on that. It's a good pickup. Mm -hmm. Any dream breaker, you're in a you're in a good position with Caitlin Christian <laughs> and, in the house. And since we're talking about her, also um, a women's professional doubles tennis player, not singles, doubles. Oh yeah. So um, it's it's so cool to see her out here in her singles element and. Yeah. Um, She's a women's tennis doubles household name, and now right. it's nice to see her becoming a pickleball That's right. household name. That is correct. Caitlin Christian. So reach out to me via email or Instagram <laughs> if you want a, uh, a good, good opportunity to represent your brand via the Caitlin Christian. <laughs> All right, Lacey Schneeman, let's see if she could pump it up. Let's see if she could get her feet moving and, and take the side out. just cannot find that return, that very important return. Nine zero here in game two. Schneeman opts to stay back, little much. 
much needed side out. That's funny you mentioned that she stayed back on that one. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you need to find the, the return before even thinking about going to the net. So good move on Lacey Schneeman. Oh. <laughs> Caitlin Christian moving so far into the net, she forgot that there was a non-volley zone. <laughs> Almost a lefty overhead there. <laughs> Wouldn't mind seeing that. Here we go. Some momentum for Lisey Schneeman here on this side out. the point of the game for sure. Caitlin Christian just making that ball go on every part of the court. Making Lisa Sheehan move everywhere around. Just out. Time to get to work for Lacey Schneeman. Let's see what she can do here. Put something together. Turn was deep. fist bump, Caitlin Christian. She showed up today, and I will say, it can't be that easy out here performing with that gold medal match scenario in your, on your brain exactly, a little bit. Exactly, exactly. It's a lot, um, lot to prepare for. Definitely. Oh, baby, off the nine with a blistering forehand down the sideline. And there's again, Michelle, that inside out option. She had that cross court with mm -hmm. that inside option. Lacey has to cover the whole court at all times, not easy. Jeez Louise. Yeah, well, feel free to tune into Pickleball TV. Lauren Stratman is playing singles on the center court uh, versus Schneeman defending off one match point for the bronze. Lauren Stratman, Brooke, Buck, Brooke, Brooke Buckner <laughs> getting ready on, uh, on center. As that is happening, we do have another match point scenario here on Grandstand. Christian uh, okay. to serve. And that's going to do it. A whip, powerhouse of a whip. Caitlin Christian, dominating performance here in the bronze medal match. That will do it. Caitlin Christian. Bronze medal singles here at the LA Open 2024, not too shabby. Yeah, um, again, we were mentioning that Lacey Schneeman's playing in a gold medal match, so hopefully her focus, uh, you know, gets a little bit more intense. She's a little bit more fired up for that match, um, but great run by both ladies in this tournament. Congratulations to uh, Caitlin Christian for her bronze medal. And next up, we have Connor Garnett and Augie Guh versus uh, Travis Rettenmeyer and Zane Navratel. Nice, very nice. A huge congratulations to Caitlin Christian. A medal at the PPA Tour. No easy task, one of many coming for her in the future. Congratulations, Caitlin Christian. And Lacey Schneeman, we'll see you later today on Championship Court. Good luck to her. Guys, thanks for tuning in here at the LA Open, brought to you by Deep Eddie Vodka. As the boys get ready, we got our men's doubles bronze medal match coming up, as Michelle mentioned. As they get ready, we'll take a short break. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back.
It's time now for the Carvana driving at home moment. Third ATP defense from Zhao Mei. Connor, all gas. No way! Oh my Connor God! Overhead. Taking home the win. Moving on to the semifinals. Seemingly impossible. Recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine. Imagine the world of tomorrow. Sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. Go ahead, live your best life. Reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. Pickleball journey, our experts are here to help.
Introducing Versix Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. And welcome back to the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Our men's doubles bronze medal match starts now. Augie Good to serve. Out. Easy point. It's going to be a fast paced game. Rapid fire here on Grandstand Court this morning. Rob Cassidy here with Michelle Esquivel. My goodness, the seasoned Zane Navratil. Trick shot. Comes standard. The Navratil package. Nice dink battle here. Oof. Off the net. Oh, and down the middle from Travis Rettenmeyer. Travis Rettenmeyer nice and smooth right down the middle, disguising his speed up. Yeah, that was sneaky, to say the least. All right. Connor Garnett taking over, and that's the beauty of the lefty-righty combo right there, that either player can take over that mid just like that and fully dictate the point. Second serve, 1-1-2. One, one, Thanks for joining us, guys. Best seat in the house. Don't mind if we do. Good hands by Travis Rittenmeyer. Wow. Great spot. Great hands. Travis Rettenmeyer here for a reason. You know, Travis Rettenmeyer, you know, obviously exploding onto the scene with the induction of MLP and being a part of, you know, team ownership. Mm -hmm. But there was a good year there where he was definitely kind of the most improved player of 2022, maybe. But the improvements and uh, elite status of Travis Rettenmeyer is very apparent here today. Speaking of up and coming players, Augustus Guh. Setting up. Ooh. Attacking those ATPs. Navratil taking over. Shout outs all over the place. We got Zane Navratil, MLP champ, multiple championships. The yes. Major League Pickleball season starts up soon. Yes, he was drafted to the New Jersey Fives. Navratil? Yes. Tough miss. 
it's got to be said. A huge shout out to Augie, just the freshest player on the tour that got uh, drafted to a premier team, premier level team, straight to premier. Congratulations to Augie Good. Big congratulations to the Dallas Pickleball Club for picking him up. <laughs> nice. Well played. Well played. Navratil able, able to take over that hands battle. Yeah, the, the boys, Garnett and, and Gut, just finding themselves backing away from that line, giving so much to their opponents. Ooh, I like, I like that pickup. And what was that? <laughs> was it the court? Was it the ball? Was it the spin from V. Zane Navratil? Was it a combination of all three? Nothing for free here on the last day of the Veolia LA Open. Grandstand court has been action packed all weekend. Happen in place. Ah, Garnett punished by Navratil again. Yeah, great job to Zane who <laughs> is reading what's coming and his hands are just so fast and he also has his tomahawk shot so it's hard to get past him. Ooh, the lob. Brett and Meyer helping out all over it. Do like to see that fun little smile on Garnett's face. <laughs> Play your best when you're having fun out there. <laughs> and it is contagious because I see it on Augie too now. This match is just getting started. Brett and Meyer. Rocking that engage paddle, that forehand in the middle. And a timeout call by Garnett. Good. Yes, they are down by five points here in game number one. I was hoping to see uh, Garnett and Gud just develop the point a little bit more. I've seen a little bit of impatience and a lot of speed ups, but that's what you do at the beginning of a match to test what's on the other side. Um, so you're saying come out, come out swinging a little bit? Come out swinging a yeah. little bit, kind of test the water, see what's going on. But at this point with a five point, you know, deficit, you might want to work the point, dink a little bit more, try to find something else um, so that you could kind of expose things, right? You can't do that when you're getting beat up. Nice. And we'll see if Garnett Gook can make those adjustments. No. A little more patient. That's just not Garnett's style, is it? Well, we know he's he's, he's capable of doing it. He is, and he's been working on his attack. So that's something maybe he's exploring right now. Yeah. And you know, it's step step one is win. So got to do what it takes to get it done. See if they can make the adjustments. And a good eye, letting that ball go out. Good timeout, Dusley. Second serve, 6-1-2. Garnett gets a forehand on it. Cross-court battle. Oh. No, can't keep it on the court. Great exchange. Sailing out, the momentum is shifting. Loving that timeout call more and more. 1-7 now. Third shot drive for point. And that drive wasn't anything spectacular. It just had amazing placement right at Zane Navratil's backhand side.
Can Garnett hold on to the patience here? Will he have to? The Tui. And he holds them off. Great point. Loving the composure, even during the overheads there, not going for too much. 10.20 a.m., it's getting warm out here. Slows that ball down, makes the drive less potent. Augie with the backhand. The lefty Tui. Yeah, baby. Tui Nation in the house. And Travis Rettenmeyer, Zane Navratil, go ahead and call a timeout as Gu and Garnett are creeping back here in game number one. Let's go ahead and take a quick timeout, you guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here at the Veolia LA Open. And we are back. Garnett to serve. And they're there this time to close the door on Travis Rettenmeyer. You see Garnett and Ga being more patient, and now the reverse has happened with Navratil and, and Rittenmeyer. Yeah. And that's worked for, for Rittenmeyer in earlier points. Why wouldn't he go there again? Shake and bake, textbook. One point game, just like that. Wow. Navi off the net. Oh yeah, he stayed clear of the kitchen with that paddle tap. Right Meyer giving never till that high five. And the streak is over. Halted. Six seven one now. Travis Rhett Meyer rocking the smash hat. Florida smash. Tui Nation. Of course, the Tui refers to a two-hander of any sort. Connor Garnett, one of the best two-handed backhands currently in the game of pickleball. He's top seven. Ernie, defended. Hands battle into the Ole, letting that ball go out. So important in those hands battles. That's the way to win it. Six, seven, one. Love it, the confidence and just the commitment. The full commit from Connor Garnett rips that for uh, that that backhand. Tie game, folks. Bronze medal match. Zane had to play that ball. That ball was staying in. Yes, it was, and a little frustration as they can't find the field. They can't get back into these points. That's, that's what Connor Garnett does so well, is he, he gets that momentum and he just kind of rides it. He leans into it, I love it. Oh, nice move away from that out ball by Rettenmeyer. As a little dodgeball action comes into play here in game number one. The 
patience on Garnett to finally find a spot on Zane. Which side of my body do I cover? Garnett, lethal. Little much from Augie. Fun thing about Augie Michelle all weekend, anytime you see him on this court, you know there's gonna be the Arizona crew around supporting him. You see Pesa Tioni in the crowd here, always here to support his guy, I love that. Off the net, just about impossible. <laughs> Augie Gu, not only an elite athlete, but a gentleman as well. Garnett with the hands. Finds a spot and stays on it. Still in it. Hits the spot, hits it again. Breaks through Travis Rittenmeyer in the house. Defense. Class pickleball looks like, folks. Great initiate from so low into the follow-up. That's just, it's just good pickleball. Adam Stone. That Tui has so much spring on it. Uses his legs, gets so much leverage. Navi on top this time, defending that sideline with the forehand. Zane Navratil rocking that Pro XR paddle, uh, which he helped design. Smaller face than most, with which when you're precise like him, always hitting the ball in the sweet spot, you can afford that. Actually makes the paddle more aerodynamic, which is true. Cuts through the through the air a little bit faster, helping with that hand speed. Wields it well. It's great design, so great in fact that Connor Garnett opts for the same paddle. Lob, lob, defend. Augie with the overhead. Pro XR being represented very well here in our bronze medal match. So much topspin on that backhand. And just like that, you guys, we're here at a game point on the hands of Zane Navratil and Travis Rettenmeyer. Can they close this game out here at the bronze medal match? Well done. It was such a tight battle there at 9-9 on the side out. Connor Garnett and Augie Gud down, but able to come back up. Wow, what a match, you guys. You don't want to miss any more of this. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here at the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Don't go anywhere.
Game two of the bronze medal match. First point scored for Rittenmeyer. Navratil picking up where they left off. Garnett up for the challenge, looking to take this to three. What do you think, a good spot by Rettmeyer? Yeah, he's gotten Augie Gu there a couple times throughout game number one. You're starting to see it here in game two. Is that almost like a ping pong forehand on Augie there? Looks like it. Travis Rittenmeyer on a mission here. More Arizona crew pouring in. Shot drive by Zane Navratil, putting pressure on Garnett for a point on game number two. Oh. Yeah, it's a unique shot from Zane, but it does have to be a certain height for that to be successful. Way to, way to keep that down, Augie. I wouldn't mind seeing a game three here. But if it's in two. Always rooting for more pickleball. Another upper level point. Yeah, Connor Garnett also playing in a gold medal match oh in my goodness. men's singles against Federico Stexrud. Wondering if his mind is on that singles game. I don't think so. I think he's focused here in this bronze medal match. Yeah, Connor's a gamer. He came for all the chips, right? If he's on the court, he's looking to win for sure. with the speed up into Zane's body. Um, proven to be successful here on this side out for another point. Two, three, two here. And a textbook shake and bake from the lefty forehand into the Garnett. Wow. Garnett skipping over that kitchen line. It's a great close. not going for too much and gets all the pot there. Travis Rittenmeyer looking to get back on track. Oh. Connor kind of laughing that one off as he knew he took a big swing and a miss into that net. away. 
Brett Meyer kind of questioning his shot selection on that one, or perhaps why did, how did it go so far now? Back to business. ATP defend for point, no big deal. A lot of times the ATP is the uh, the winner, but in this case, the setup, giving Travis Rittenmeyer full control of the point. players being a little bit more patient, but Travis Rettenmeyer finally finding the right opportunity to speed up and close. Yeah, late in the point, recommitting to the patient game there. Very interesting stuff. Respecting the hands on both sides. Like what I'm seeing here. Timeout call. We'll take a short break ourselves. The Viola, Viola LA Open 2024. We'll be right back. We are back here at the Veolia LA Open. Men's doubles, bronze medal match. Beautiful point. Good timeout. Good side out. Three, six, one, folks. Oh, lightning from Zane Nabertil. The jab from Zane Navratil to set up Rettenmeyer for the put away. Well crafted, great patience. Six three one. Scrapping. Augie into the sun. Hammering that spot and they get it. When they say it, they mean it. That's the spot. And it is today, but perhaps not next weekend. You know what Augie might be drilling. <laughs> yeah. 
Garnett catching fire. This is the pickleball we came for. Grandstand court does not disappoint. Veolia LA Open 2024. Stink from Rittenmeyer. He's not happy about it. But Rittenmeyer and Navratil do have a four point lead here in game number two. Nothing to be frustrated about. Smell that hardware. Beautiful medals this weekend. Hey, oh. Let's go. <laughs> do a reset. Back into it. Oh, let's go, baby! We love the hand battles here. I love it. The crowd goes wild. That's what they want to see. Reset right back into it. Garnett loves it. <laughs> Navratil, Rettenmeyer. Match winning point. Swing speed from Navratil. All over it, strict fire. Hey, that's the biggest move I've seen from Zane never till this game, and he is pumped up because of it. Nice. The sun. Placement shot. Zane's there. Goes for it. Wow. <laughs> awesome point. Good structure. I love the gets from Zane Evertil and that point. He is on his toes. He is fired up. And with that, Agiga Garnett, they call a timeout here. Yeah, Zane with that move, he put that ball on him. Doesn't go for too much that he can't recover from. He knew, you know, there's a strong possibility Garnett's going to get that ball back and he's there for it to really continue that point. Getting heated here on the grandstand court. Navratil, Rittenmeyer, can smell that finish line. That wonderful 11. <sighs> Thanks for joining us guys here. Rob Cassidy here with Michelle Esquivel at the Veolia LA Open 2024, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Shout out to Yola, Lifetime, Carvana, Skechers, thank you guys so much. And of course, you guys tuning in around the world, thank you guys so much for tuning in and enjoying this great game of pickleball. Michelle. Yeah, Rob, I just want to ask, uh, what was your favorite part about this weekend? Any highlights, anything you liked at the venue? I have, yeah, I've been having a fantastic weekend. It's probably hard for me to pick a moment, but I have been enjoying how great the vibe has been here this weekend. You know, it's got a, a little, little bit of specialness to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm glad to be sharing it with you guys. So back to the action, here we go. Inside out, Caitlin Christian style. <laughs> Dinks to the sideline. Do it, Augie, do it. Another long point here. Yeah! Oh! Abruptly halted the first missed overhead. Might have been the sun. These defensive lobs have been actually giving them the advantage here in game two, and all of a sudden we have a bronze medal point. Oh, and the Garnett never till battle continues. <laughs> another point on the board for that mini game to Garnett. Got to fend off another one. Here we go. And a much needed critical side out for G Garnett. And the first brick. Many needed to get back into this match. Sure, 
and an easy ATP for Navratil. Yeah, that ball just hits the net, gives Zane the perfect opportunity for that shot. 4 10 2 here. Unlucky for one team. Right. <laughs> just kind of like that last point. to the match point scenario here. Never to a chance right now. Let's see. Short little chat from Ritten Meyer. Here we go. He got him on the sideline drive. Awesome match, awesome tournament by all four players. And the bronze medal goes to Travis Rettenmeyer, Zane Navratil. Wow, that was incredible. I love that match. And uh, don't go anywhere, you guys, because we're going to have a singles match coming up, our bronze medal, medal match between Anik Lahani, number 11 seed, and Roscoe Bellamy, number 23 seed. And you'll also see our player here, Connor Garnett, going into that gold medal match. So if you want to tune in there, make sure you uh, find it on Pickleball TV. That's right. You know, huge shout out to the players, huge shout out to our referees, the guys in the on the truck and the broadcast team for making this happen. Huge shout out to Augie Guh, the lefty great, making such a name for himself in these last few months here on the PPA Tour. Connor Garnett, uh, last time I had a strong result was with Connor Garnett as well. He's just such a fantastic partner. The athleticism, the decision making, and the positivity is just such a potent combination. So it's nice to see a team like this do so well. Congratulations to Connor and Augie. That being said, Bronze medal, Rittenmeyer, Navratil. Men's singles, bronze medal match, Lohani, and my guy, my goodness, I've... Lohani and Roscoe Bellamy. Thank you, Roscoe Bellamy in the house, putting in the work, seeing the results. We're gonna take a short break, guys. That singles match between Anik Lohani and Roscoe Bellamy here on Grandstand Court. Just a minute. Thanks for tuning in. The Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka is brought to you by Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. By Rain, clean energy for everyone. By Select Medical, the exclusive physical therapy partner of the PPA Tour. By Selkirk, we are Pickleball. And by Vizzy, a flavor for every vibe. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible. Recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine. Imagine the world of tomorrow. Sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Central, your trusted pickleball experts. Good time, no 
Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable, reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. Pickleball journey. Our experts are here to help. Introducing Verse 6 Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experience enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine. Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball expert.
Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable, reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. Pickleball journey, our experts are here to help. Introducing Verse 6 Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. Welcome back, everyone. We are here on Championship Sunday, but we're here with the bronze medal matches on the grandstand court here at the Veolia LA Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. We have a special one here as we have number 11 seed Onik Lohani and number 23 seed Roscoe Bellamy battling it out. These two are heavy hitters, love the baseline. I know Roscoe Bellamy has really been working on, it, on his singles game, actually all doubles games, singles games here um, at this venue at the Los Cab Sports Village. Anik Lohani, I feel like we haven't seen him on the medals uh, matches, so this is a very exciting opportunity for him. This is Michelle Esquivel. I'm here with Rob Cassidy. Rob Cassidy, what do you think about this matchup? I love it. I can't wait. Can't wait to watch. I'm just here for the ride. I know it's going to be a good one. <laughs> Got two fantastic players out there. I like both these guys a lot. So looking forward to the show, and thank you guys for joining us here at the Veolia LA Open. Sam Choi Moy, our head referee, does a great job of keeping these matches in order, nice and fair, letting the players get to work. Looks like Roscoe Bellamy is going to serve first. Here we go, game one. Roscoe 
Francisco Bellamy not holding back on his serve. We just uh, watched Connor Garnett here in men's doubles who defeated Anik Lahani in the semifinal match. And the men's open singles and Roscoe Bellamy falling short to Federico Staxrud. But aside from those losses, they had an incredible bracket, incredible tournament. Yeah. And so they're not done today. They're, <laughs> they want this medal. This is for podium. So a lot on the line here in these bronze medal matches for sure. There's that two-hander from Onik. gives Anik Lohani the thumbs up as that beautiful down the line passing shot just lands right in the corner. Football on Anik Lahani, giving Roscoe Bellamy a point here on this side out. Yeah, he's pushed to the limits on his reach there and sneaks a toe into that pesky kitchen. <laughs> Could have been, should have went. Roscoe Bellamy as he sees Anik Lohani moving towards the backhand corner, going behind him for the side out. The wheels. Oh, and that's just too good from Anik Lohani. It's the second and final Loving call. points like that, point of the match so Andy far. Kirby. Just yeah, high athleticism the the just in the moment. Sneaking a little hands Kirby. battle in the middle of that one. Yeah, Roscoe Bellamy, he has definitely found a little pattern um, starting out with Lohani's forehand, backhand, and then back to the forehand. Um, that's the pattern that I see from Bellamy so far. Even winning the point, Onyx making those adjustments with that self-talk there. Love it. There's that elite athlete mentality. Yeah, I mean, when you're playing singles, you are constantly talking to yourself the whole time. Wow. Onyx scrapes himself back into that point, taking control. That was very impressive. If he can pull off stuff like that, then there's hope for me in my singles game then. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, um, brutal first few points here of game number one. Uh, Roscoe Bellamy already taking a timeout. These points have been, you know, four to six shots each point, but they're going from corner to corner sprinting. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're 40 minutes into game one and it's only 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's singles grind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's intense. It's intense. Yeah. Um, a lot of athleticism and a lot of mental uh, toughness out there. 
nice, and you can see Coach Rettenmeyer giving some words of wisdom to Bellamy as he hydrates over there. And while these guys are taking their break, I'd Colin like to Sutton shout out a little bit of an instant classic alert happening on Championship Court on Pickleball TV. The Johns brothers versus Yao Mei and Tyson McGuffin. It's going down here at the LA Open. Onik serving 2-2. Two -two. And a quick point after that side or after that time out there from Vasco Bellamy. That would have been wild if it cleared the net. Wow, court one. Our field reporters have told us on championship court. Yalme Martinez Bick. Tyson McGuffin have taken game one against the Johns brothers. Yes. Must be hard at home figuring out which match to watch. Uh, you got to get out multiple devices if you're gonna, if, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're gonna do it right. I know that's what I do. Multiple devices, multiple beverages, multiple friends. Great, great. That's good pickleball. <laughs> What a dipper there, as uh, we like to call it the drip, the mm. drive drop. Um, such an accurate spot with a quick pace. Yeah, that drive, it's got a little bit of a dropping trajectory to it. That is where it's at, 2024 pickleball. Onik, too easy. Didn't like missing that one. Had a little big backswing there, catching that ball a little late. Well, these players look like they're, they just glide around the court. Yes, they do. Out. Serves out. Game one, grindy. Finally a point going to Anik Lahani with a beautiful passing shot to that forehand corner of Roscoe Bellamy. Yeah, and in singles, you're going to see a lot of side outs, scoreless side outs. You know, the servers are trying really hard to put a lot of pressure on the returns, giving them an easy third. One point game here. Ooh. Go big or go home. Another big serve from Roscoe Bellamy. Son of Beth Bellamy. Yes, senior pro legend. Mahani reads it correctly, but missed that one into the net, giving Bellamy another point here. And with that, Mahani goes ahead and calls a timeout. All right. Grandstand Court, the Veolia LA Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. We'll take a short break and be right back with the conclusion of game one. from a side out with a huge passing shot inside out giving Bellamy a four point lead here in game number one and a 
another big serve. You know, if Roscoe Bellamy misses a serve, he does. He he loves. He doesn't mind it. You know what I mean? He's gonna go big on it every single time. Nothing to lose, except for a side out. It's strange, but in, you know, as far as percentages are concerned, anything over 50% is extremely favorable. You can take, you know, a baseball player's batting average or the odds at the casino. Game point. Smoking shot, Roscoe Bellamy. Game one in the books. Onik needs to make a few adjustments here. He's got the head for it. It's time to complete that execution. Yeah, definitely on the return. He's got to find something there, uh, establish himself into the point. All right, two minutes between games. Our players will switch sides going into game two. The Veolia LA Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. We'll be right back. Game two, underway, bronze medal match. Bellamy at the net. And passed by Anik Lohani, starting off game two strong. Roscoe shakes it off. by Lahani and Roscoe Bellamy is going to call it a time out. Wow. Do you see those big serves from Lahani, Rob? Yeah, love to see it. Love to see, you know, him get re-motivated after that loss from game one as opposed to defeated. Right. By that occurrence, love to see it. We're going to stay with you guys here. Yeah, Lahani, you know, it's a great move by Roscoe Bellamy for not allowing him to keep that momentum here at the beginning of game one. And he did that in the, er, in the beginning of game one as well as right now. Nice. And our field reporters let us know on center court, it is 6-2. McGuffin, Martinez Bick are up after taking game one. Best of five on championship court. Against a couple brothers known as the Johns, uh, Ben Johns and Colin Johns. Ben Johns, one. Colin Johns. Yeah. Mr. Ben and Mr. Colin. But you know, as we, as we all know, Ben Johns, he's a uh, he's a slow starter, right? It's the morning, you know, it's a best of five, you know. But you gotta ask yourself, why are they talking about Ben Johns when we're here on grandstand court with Anik Lohani and Roscoe Bellamy dueling it out for the podium? Here we go. Oh yeah, Anik looking much smoother. Letting out, you know, 
a little bit of frustration, which is fair enough, as he's down here by three points in game number two. There's that beautiful shot that Roscoe Bellamy has on his forehand side. It's a drop drive combo. The placement is very key to setting him up to success. And that big serve. Yeah, speaking of success, you know, he's got that, that carbon head paddle, that body frame, that masterful control of his wrist, that whip. He wields it well. Great options, great power. Smooth, Roscoe, just like that, buddy. Roscoe Bellamy taking the tie here on this side out. The ref making sure that the fans and spectators do not coach during or after play. Breaks the momentum of Roscoe Bellamy, giving them a side out. Yeah, an annoying little blip for Roscoe. He's going to shake it off here and see what he can do. And that's how you bounce back for the next point. Roscoe Bellamy back on track. Game time here on Grandstand, right? That's right. Starting to feel it. Mm -hmm. What's at stake? Two athletic boys out there doing battle in the ring. That is Grandstand Court. Off the out. Gives away that serve possession. Roscoe, Roscoe Bellamy is just pumped up right now. He is fired up. Log Not on the fire. Here we go. Oh! Find that balance, right? That's okay. I always say a missed serve in singles is, is, is all right. What about five missed serves? Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> what about five missed serves and two serve returns? <laughs> <laughs> a little well, ball there was, check. There was a missed serve into a missed return, so that's not good. One point game. with the precision in that back corner. Like a surgeon. Yeah, I feel like that's Lahani's biggest strength in his game is that down the line passing shot. On his backhand side. There it is again. Off the net, not much you can do there. But call a timeout and regroup. Roscoe Bellamy calls a timeout. We'll do it the same, follow suit. We'll be right back with more action here of our bronze medal singles match, the Veolia LA Open. And we are back. Anik Lohani to serve. Lohani increasing his lead. It's 
one thing to take away. A little pro tip of the day for the recreation level is just seeing how early those guys are there to that ball. They've loaded up, they're mm -hmm. waiting for that ball, and then striking through. That comes from anticipation, footwork, and speed and agility. I like all those words. <laughs> all right, so that timeout did not work for Roscoe Bellamy as now he's trailing by three points. Fortunately, he has one game under his belt. Oh, oh, excuse me. Lohani looking to uh, take this to three. Just missed. Yeah, you see uh, Roscoe Bellamy kind of lost his rhythm here in game number two. His footwork looks just a tad slower. His timing on his strokes are just a little off. Yeah, not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sensing a little bit of a case of wanting it too much almost, maybe wanting it, putting a little too much into each shot if he kind of smoothed it out a little bit, get a little more even keel. It's tough when you want it so bad when less is more. That's a little too much, going for a little too much there. Got to make him play. Yeah, and you know, he, Roscoe Bellamy is a tennis player. Right. A, a, right. <laughs> yeah. An amazing tennis player. Yeah. Um, so the strokes just look a little big. A little too big on the backswing, as you mentioned. Nice. He was able to keep it compact enough on that one. <laughs> See what he can do with this serve possession. Go, Roscoe, go. There it is. There's one. Good or bad, that point's over. It's time to focus on the next one. Strong serve. Strong preparation. Ah, can't have it. That's too many, Michelle. I don't care what they say about going for more on your serve. That's too many. Especially being down 3-10. Four nine now. That's what I have on the tally paper here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Off the net. It's going to be a let, as it should be. There we are. Blistering. And you can hear from Lohani there. Yeah, too good. Give him the props of respect. Sometimes that's just the, just the case. Shot's too good. Michelle does it to me all the time. <laughs> oh, high serve and out. Gohani just double checking how many timeouts he has. He's gonna use one, the offensive timeout. Shows its, shows its presence here in this bronze medal match in game two. Boys are going to take a timeout. We'll take an offensive timeout as well, folks. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back with the conclusion of game two. Stay tuned. And here we are, Anik Lohani to serve, post his timeout. 
Ah, no good. Nasty. And again, the words muttered from Onyx mouth, too good. Roscoe Bellamy, it's a very accurate way of describing his singles game. Oh, as long as that one's stricken from the record, of course. Gotta go for it, but again, I think this is a theme that we've been seeing in this match. Bellamy's gotta find that balance of... Great, but in. Lohani, too good of his own. And here we have our first game point of game number two. Mohani looking to see if we could take it to game three. Wow. The cross court option for game. One apiece. Bellamy, Lohani, game three. Here on Grandstand Court, the Veolia LA Open 2024. Rob Cassidy here with Michelle Escabel. Looking forward to game three. We hope you stick around and join us. We'll be right back after the short break. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Bellamy first point on the board here in game three. Short race to 11, win by two. Onik off the net. Oh, gets a paddle on it. Oh, and he misses. A lot of energy coming from Roscoe Bellamy here early on in game number three of this bronze medal match. It's a contender for point of the match so far. Bellamy's energy, Onyx energy, clash of wills here. 2-0, Bellamy to serve. Wow, great movement by Lohani. Impressive drop shot. All that hard work for just a side out. The grind begins now. Can he start a streak of his own? Side out. Field reporters report it's 10-9 on championship court. The Johns brothers to serve. Two zero. Bellamy looking to pick up where he left off. Puts it all into the serve. On its sides to hit it. Winner in the books. No hesitation. No time for hesitation. More faith in his hands as opposed to hoping that that ball is out as opposed to in. Love it. No. Oh, but too good God. of his own, Anik Lohani. And the conclusion of game two on championship court. One game apiece over there. Oh no. He's gotta call it in. The ball is in, into a timeout. Lohani, treeing. Is that the term, Michelle? 
Yes. <laughs> Treeing. So good. <laughs> just oh, get in there and just whip in that ball. That was an extremely impressive response to Bellamy's 2-0 start. Again, Travis Rettenmeyer coming off of his bronze medal match win. Sticking around, coaching Roscoe Bellamy in his singles match. We have a tie game here, 2-2, two, two, and game number three. The winner of this will win the bronze medal here at the Veolia LA Open. Yeah, we talk about the difference in athleticism, different sports. This, the endurance needed for singles pickleball is a totally different realm than what's needed, the lung capacity for doubles. <laughs> These boys are out here grinding in the sun. Ooh, Lohani whips it, unsuccessful, good timeout by Bellamy. Lohani gets to do his best to catch that second win and keep that good focus. He's got the ready stance. Oh. That's just a good spot to hit down to the spot of Roscoe Bellamy's left foot. Yeah, tell him, Michelle. We, we, we want to learn. <laughs> tell us what's working. <laughs> I'm just out here mesmerized. No. Corner to corner, Roscoe Bellamy working that ball. Wow. Tough shot on it. You can't see it on camera, but Anik also tapped his paddle as a sign of respect. It's just a nice shot to Bellamy. Got warriors and gentlemen out here on grandstand court. Haymakers countered by Lohani. Yeah, we've, we've been uh, seeing both players try working the sidelines on the passing shots that time. Bellamy trying to find something into Lohani's body, but didn't quite work. Insights from a true singles master right there. Oh, heavy angle. <laughs> Stamping that ball far away on the court from Lohani. Lohani is clearly dragging now. But you know what? That was a, that ball that he put away was a, a setup brought by his shot to the corner. So right, right. It's definitely a chess game out there. Onyx looking for that oxygen. This is it, folks. Game three, bronze medal match. Grandstand court. There's that spot again. Lohan picks really well on Roscoe Bellamy's backhand side. It's just working for him. Let's see if he could keep finding that as he gains momentum here. Yeah, you mentioned that spot. Do you think it would be ideal to just go to that, keep going to that spot, or does he have to go other places first? You, you can't be predictable. Right. You know, if you go to the same place every time, then, you know, your opponent's going to pick up on that and punish. So you have to kind of work each point differently, trying to find the right times. Easier said than done. <laughs> Love it, though. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. He certainly found it again. Target acquired. 4-2 now. Game three. Switch sides at six. Oh, Lonnie thought he had that one, but the ball goes just wide. Set Bellamy up for an easy shot to Lahani's forehand. It's 
it's, it's coming from the serve. Big serves. I love it. Ooh. Good eye from Lohani. Roscoe Bellamy getting in position. Full puppet master right there. Hashtag Tim Nelson. <laughs> Hashtag OG Go. Hashtag where in the world is Kyle Yates? <laughs> And now four for a tight game here. Bellamy has support, but I'm enjoying watching him being his biggest fan out there. Just a great way to carry yourself on the court. Nice. That has that has been Roscoe Bellamy shot. The serve and that forehand drop drive. <laughs> Off the net and out. Lohani taking his time as the gas tank is nearing E. E, of course, stands for Eric Kennedy. <laughs> Shout out to the Rochester, New York crew. Is there anybody out there, Michelle, that you'd like to say hi to that might be tuning in? Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Gearbox. Oh. And uh, the main court app. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I can download that on my phone. Yeah. Main court app, I'll check that out. A lot of side outs here. Yes, a lot of quick points, a lot of side outs. Players both want to find it in, in less than three shots. Yeah. And they're playing their game. You know, they're doing what they did that got them here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, miss serve, setting the ball right back. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both here in game number three, not wanting to run down five shots. So they're just trying to find it right off the serve, right off the return. Looking for haymakers. All right, we are in game number three. So that means that we switch when someone gets six points. Roscoe Bellamy taking the six. Nice. Yeah, so Bellamy, one of those individuals who's been putting in the hours off the court, on and off the court. Uh, Onik has been working with Alex Newman, Pfizer King, if you've heard of him, just a fantastic singles player. And it's really showing, you know. Onik is fantastic at doubles, fantastic at singles, but here he is, you know, in a podium situation, mm -hmm. just two players just showing what work, work ethic will get you. Yeah, and I, and I do think... And good genes, of course. <laughs> I do think that you will be seeing these two a lot more in the singles, bronze and gold and silver medal matches for sure. I think that's very safe to say. Here on the PPA tour. 6-4 here. Ball is called out. Bellamy breaking it open. This last little streak of match that we have left here. Roscoe Bellamy, you know, digging deep here to get to that ball early, get prepared. Timeout. This is not the refreshed, you know, vitality filled Onik Lohani that we're used to. It might have caught up with him. That's a lot of singles. Very grindy. If he can catch his second wind here, he will have a chance, but uh, time will tell.
And don't go anywhere, you guys, because after this match, we have another epic bronze medal match in women's doubles. That's right. We got the Brasha sisters. That's right. The the home court girls. Mary and Maggie Brasha mm -hmm. taking on Megan Dizon and Etta Wright. Yes. That's going to be a good one. I think so. Yeah. Definitely one that you don't want to miss. Nice little finale on the day here on Grand An Grandstand Court. Veolia LA Open 2024 presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Thank you guys for tuning in. Here we are late in game three of the men's singles bronze match. Roscoe Bellamy to serve. Finding another point out of the timeout. Nine four. Nine four. Here we go, ahead by six points with the bronze medal match on the line here. It is. Congratulations to Roscoe Bellamy. He takes home the bronze medal for the men's singles championships here at the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. One of the first of many podium fishes, finishes for Roscoe Bellamy. Expect to see him more and more often. He's not going anywhere. And the same goes for Anik Lohani, one of the more entertaining players to watch as well. One of my favorite people to keep track of on the court. So two stars in the making here on Grandstand Court. So congratulations to Roscoe Bellamy one more time. Well deserved. Yeah, they, they definitely deserve a uh, beautiful, beautiful rest of the Sunday as they have been out here all week, you know, competing at the highest level. And uh, singles is definitely the toughest, in my opinion. So um, congratulations to both of them for making such great runs. And in just a few, few short minutes, we will have our last match here on Grandstand no. Court. Then I'll Already? have to check out and see what this Deep Eddie Vodka is all about. Maybe. <laughs> try it. We'll try it. No. Very good stuff. Um, yeah. The women's doubles bronze medal, medal match. The Brasha sisters take on Dizon and Wright. Looking forward to it, guys. Stick around here on Grandstand Court. One last match of the day. We'll be right back. The Veolia LA Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka, is brought to you by Veolia, the official sustainability partner of the PPA Tour. By Deep Eddie Vodka, dive in. By Carvana, serving happiness all season long. By Skechers, conquer the court in comfort. By Baird, the official wealth management partner of the PPA Tour, and by Fila. To play like a pro, you need to dress like one. Pickleball experts. Good, 
Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable, reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. your pickleball journey our experts are here to help Introducing Versix Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experience enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Versix Raw, your game elevated. Don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Reset, play hard, play clean. that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball expert.
Welcome back here on Grandstand Court at the Veolia LA Open presented by Ed Deep, <laughs> Deep Eddie Vodka, my favorite vodka. We are here with the women's doubles bronze medal match. We have a special one as number two seed Etta Wright and Megan Dazon take on number eight seed Maggie Brasha and Mary Brasha, the sisters here. They are the hometown girls in white. You can see them right there, volleying and the white. Etta will be here on the near side with partner Megan Dazon. All in black on the other side. It's gonna be a special match. Maggie and Mary had a tremendous ride all the way up until the end yesterday, defeating Dion Lim, Dominika Trevovic, 11-0, 11-2 defeating Brooke Buck Buckner and Lena Padagmagante, 11-3, 13-11. And also, they got to play another sister duo, Angela Walker and Alex Walker, defeating them 11-8, 11-2, and then falling to the number one seed in the semifinals to Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrabacher, 11-9, 11-4. So great tournament for them. And uh, also we had Megan Nissan and Anna Wright. They had a tough battle um, throughout the day yesterday in women's doubles um, playing against, hey, myself <laughs> uh, and my partner, Marcella Hones. They, uh, we actually had a, a really fun match, good battle. Uh, they won 11-3, 6-11, 11-8. Then moving on to defeating 11, uh, Emily Ackerman and Vivian David, 11-4, 11-6, and then uh, falling to Lacey Schneeman and Vivian Glossman, uh, who are going to be playing the gold medal match after the men's doubles comes to a completion. Mary Brasher to serve. First point on the board here on the first side out. What a beautiful shot by Megan Dazon with a third shot drive, giving them another point here on the side out. Mm -hmm. At a right, follows it up with another drive. Another electric point here. Two powerhouse teams. Nothing but good pickleball remaining here on grandstand court. At a right to serve. Brasha sisters in the house. It's sunny out today. Nice that they're rocking that Raya eyewear. Keep their eyes protected and uh, eye on the ball. Maggie Brasher to serve. Nice counter. I felt like she was on it there. Yeah, she uh, 
Megan Azan was looking for the switch, but that serve from Brasha was too powerful, so got them out of position. Already a different look. I mean, yesterday we had uh, Etta Wright almost exclusively on the left side. And that last point going very well with with the opposite. Tough miss, second serve. Bronze medal match is a best of three to 11, win by two. Yes, out of playing aggressive and the Gloshes were able to find that open sideline there on that last point. Maggie! <laughs> That's an unbelievable cross-court ball. Just the trajectory, keeping it out of uh, Ederite's ability to volley zone there. This game's up for grabs, Michelle. Do you, you feel like there's like a higher percentage, you know? What does the uh, duper speedometer, you know, say? Yeah, um, well, according to seeds, Ederite and Megan Desan are, are the higher seeded team here at number two. And uh, the brushes are eight seeds, so um, I would give a percentage of based upon those seeds. Yeah, I don't that's know why what we love you, maybe, Michelle. Maybe like a 60%, 70 percent um, goes to brush or to Dazon and Wright. Right, just based on just the based seeds. on the seeds. Yep. <laughs> that's why we keep you around. The professionalism, the insights, and the knowledge. Well done, Michelle Escabel in the house. And I'm not gonna lie. My partner and I, uh, as mentioned earlier, lost to Etta Wright and Megan Dazan. Um, so you always want to see those players, you know, yeah. kind of take everything. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were close. It was a tight one in game three. Could have just as well as been you guys in this bronze medal match. But it is a tough field. The brushes are also playing phenomenal, so I wouldn't let it go past them. Oh, she plays it. Oh. Right, with the stamp. This is the same at a right. Does not matter what the score is, what situation, game one, game seven. You're going to get the same at a right, and we like what we see. <laughs> at a right, of course, sponsored by Yola, which is one of our head sponsors of the tournament here. The Brasha sisters rocking their Selkirks. Is also the facility that they teach out, the Brasha sisters. Their father helps with the pickleball here, and they have a great program. So if you want to learn a thing or two, come out to the Los Cab Tennis Center. Oh, almost a nice dig by Megan Dizon. And Vinny Brasha also on the sideline coaching the Brashas here in this bronze medal match. Shout out to Vinny and the whole family. At a right, pounces on it. One thing I haven't gotten to bring up today, oh geez, here he goes again, right guys at home? <laughs> I haven't gotten to bring up the amount of mobility these guys have with their dinking at that kitchen line. The footwork involved during these dinking exchanges is something to really emulate your game after at home. If you want to upgrade the quality of those dinks. 3-5-1. Just why? Maggie just a little ahead of that backhand as she misses wide. For now, a time tie game here.
Third shot. Give me the brush as a chance to take the lead here in game number one. Frustration from Mary as she misses that last one. Uh, perhaps a little indecisive whether she wanted to force that ATP. Smidge of hesitation, that's what it'll get you. Never want to force really anything. Elite level dinking with a lob mix in, it's out. The symmetry is broken. 5-5 five -five is in the past. Rosh is up two. Cross-court antler lock here. Head to right, mixing up that dink. Sideline to middle. Reset. Oh! Yeah. The reset prevails. And they're targeting Etta. The brushes are, are, are targeting her, and she's doing such a great composed job at just mixing it up and playing on her own terms. Do you think that's because of something that Megan does, or...? Never know. Keep the ball away from Megan. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're they might be going for a certain look, or they might not want maybe isolate Megan is on. Um, it might be their game plan, but never know what's on those players' minds. I like it. <laughs> Keeping us guessing here in the booth. Getting a double check here. Got my head spinning now. Do you know the score is 6-7? Looking for the one or the two here. Referees converge just to get it right here. It's on the one. I've got the video evidence to prove it. <laughs> nice follow up from Megan. Not lobby enough. Point Etta. 7-7 seven, seven now. Yeah, I've been seeing a trend of defensive lobs more often this year than most um, at the pro level, which is um, quite interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, there's another one. Offensive this time. And Brasha recovers to take it back. Yeah, I feel like uh, players are finding um, their opponents leaning in to find a flick or to find an attack. Right. So they take the opportunity to throw it right behind them. <laughs> Refs doing their best to construct traffic here. <laughs> Back on track. We appreciate them big time. Getting it right. Oh my gosh, good hands by Megan. What? No. Oh, overzealous Ernie. 
end the end it there. I like the hands battles, Michelle. I do too. Personally. I do too. The little firefights on the volleys are exciting to watch. Brashas with the ball, seven seven. Too easy for Maggie Brasha. Talked about the uh, Brasha family being in attendance. There's a uh, Nick Black in the crowd as well, supporting the uh, Brasha clan. One of the oncoming students of the game, Nick Black. Well, the Brashas are dialed in here. It's going to be tough to beat. Oh, oh. And a perfect usage of the net cord there. Yeah, we've seen Maggie uh, taking some flicks out of the air with her backhand, but they've been going down the line that time changing direction, uh, getting Etta off position there. Yeah, Etta was, Etta was definitely setting up shop where that ball was intended to be. <laughs> right. Um, a tactical timeout taken by our players. We will take a timeout as well. The Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. We'll be right back. Rasha to serve, 9-7-1. Oh, a darty cross court from Megan. Maybe that's what they're avoiding. Oh, and there it is, Megan Dijon. Don't hit the ball to me. Two-point game, that's a good hold, good timeout. Last match, last day. Here on grandstand court. Second serve now, time to make this serve possession count. End game of game one. Oh. And a 50-50 scrappy point. Rosh is coming out on top. Two points away. Yeah. Heavy hands from Etta Wright. Michelle, do you have a side of the court that you prefer? Yeah, I typically play on the left side, but I've been thrown around on the right side, so I'm feeling comfortable on both, on both sides. Nice. I like that. Wow, nice little combination there for Megadizon and Etta Wright. Let's see if they could catch up here in game number one. Yeah, I think we could definitely say that that overhead was brought to you by Acrotech. There you go. Court surfaces. It's relentless drop, so she takes the kitchen. Oh, 
court. She gets oh. her. Relentless. One point game now in game one. Did not see this coming. Anybody's game. That's nice a work. great spot by Etta Wright as she takes that high backhand and flicks it cross court. Mary Brasho is caught off as she was getting set for a forehand. And Megan with the relentless resets to get them that opportunity. Tie game on the first serve. Sometimes it's just that easy. Suddenly a game point situation here from 7-9 to 10-9. Here we go. Oh. Nice play cut. continues. Out. Whoa, what a point. Nice get by Etta. Good scrap. Got another attempt coming at you right here. A little much. A little too down. That's definitely where you want to put it when you get a high ball down at the opponent's feet, but uh, that big backswing kind of took that away. Uh, the opportunity. Got to keep him the nine. And they do. They must do it twice. Little paddle tap. Russia sisters to serve. Oh. Brutal. Game point on the hands of Dazan Wright. And a good timeout there from Mary Brasha as she was a little frustrated over that miss serve on the side out. And we will see how good of a timeout that was when we return after this short break. Thanks for students. Game point here underway, 10-9-1. Point of the match, four match. Game one going to Dazan Wright. Awesome play by all four players. That was such a close game. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's gonna change much in game two. I think we're gonna have a close battle here and a potential game three. Yeah, I'm starting to see why they're taking the ball away from Megan Dizon. Every time I see her touch the ball, the pace just increases. Uh, the pressure on uh, the brushes ups a little bit, right? Maybe they're just a little more predictable uh, off of her. Maybe they're a little more comfortable. But right and Dizon get it done in game one. Well, it's been a fantastic weekend, Michelle. You brought up Gearbox. That's right. I'll bring up Xander, <laughs> Oscar, and her family members <laughs> helping us out with our housing this weekend as we're starving artists, pickleball pros. Right? 
And I'd love to give a shout out to the East Coast tuning in real quick, all you guys out there. You know, it's afternoon over there. And uh, to the Zarcone family in Myrtle Beach, love you guys. Mm -hmm. Josh, Carmen, Patrick. Oh, that's really Jason, sweet. Pat, Rose, Mom. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's been a fantastic weekend, and it's been a joy bringing it to you guys across the country and across mm -hmm. the world. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and spreading the great, great game of pickleball. If you're new to it, give it a try. It's its own sport. Tennis equally as awesome, but pickleball certainly has my heart. Yeah, and we have seen the game explode um, before the PPA Tour even you know came on the scene and so we are so fortunate to be here and uh excited to bring you the best level of pickleball um there's so many great people out there shout out to memes of pickleball for keeping it lighthearted on their memes and uh we're gonna go ahead and start game two here in this bronze medal match Hard as she could, and Maggie Brasha defends. And well structured point into uh, that's not the merry go round that she's known for, but <laughs> we liked it. Oh, and a great rebuttal from Dazan Wright. Down to business here in game two. That touch is very difficult, you know, when a ball's coming at you and, and you just have to have that light grip in order to get that finesse. Great response by Edda Wright. Smackdown from Mary. Bring him to second. on that forehand, takes it to the sideline. Here we go. Megan is on staying alive in that point as Maggie and Mary Brasha bring the fire. Just double checking the out call. Referee's eyes are usually on the feet of the players at the kitchen line, so it's understandable. I like to have our players make their calls loud and promptly. Maybe by the uh, second half of 2024, we might have some line referees out here. What do you think? As this game's as this game evolves, let's have it evolve in the right direction. What? Yeah, Maggie finally, you know, being able to put a little pressure on Megan Dazan on her backhand flick. Yeah, I'm glad we brought up the line referees thing, too. I think a really strong sport to adopt it from would be volleyball, where they have two line referees on separate corners. With the flags? Yeah, with the flags, yeah. Lob. Full neutral. Whoa. Easy one, missed. Great hard work from Maggie. Yeah, and Mary running down that ball. Oh, 
<laughs> Defended. I stayed in. Holy smokes. Grindy game two here. Grindy game two. Oh. Ball was high enough, but you know, this high of a temperature, that that Falcon ball is going to play a little slower. means your drive's not going to be as effective as it usually is. to see those shoulders start dropping for the brushes after those errors. Want to keep their heads up. Yes, uh, Maggie and Mary Brasha um, struggling with their third shot as the returns of Etta Wright and Megan Dazon are hitting that back baseline. Timeout called here. Grindy game two, Michelle. Yeah, yeah quick side outs and uh, hard, really hard to gain points here in game number two. Um, everyone putting the pressure. That's that's what a really good pickleball game is, is when the, the players can't find any points when they have the possession mm -hmm. of their serve. Mm -hmm. Strong defense all around. You can hear the uh, shrieks coming from center court. Somebody's up 3-0 in game five. Whoa, for men's doubles. Field reporter saying it is now 3-2, one point game. John's brothers are up one point against Yao Mei and Tyson McGuffin on the championship court. That's the day and age that we're living in here. Pickleball mm -hmm. 2024, mm -hmm. LA Open. I love the venue at the PPA tour on Sundays. I love it. It's electrifying. Uh, people like a lot of oohs and ahs and just the highest level of pickleball you could watch and it's definitely entertaining. If you uh, check out the PPA tour.com, you could check out all of their tournaments coming up. The next one's in uh, Salt or in uh, St. George, Utah. Red Rock, Red Rock Open. Open. Yes. Here we go, guys. Back to the action. That's a good timeout. Receiving that side out. Maggie Brasha to serve. Gorgeous third shot drop. Lob attempt countered. Drive. What? Ooh. Great save. Oh, she left the oh, court. Oh, no. I believe she bailed because she was in the kitchen, but uh, opened up the court. Just a huge window of opportunity there. Maggie takes it. Two, two, two. 
There's a lob again. Lob D is out. All right, they're finding some new things here in game number two. Uh, up ahead by one. Nice point. Nice. Green, the Vinnie Brasher encouragement over there. I like it. 4-2-2. Nice little combo there from the Brasha sisters as they gain two points. Or actually, they're up by three points here on this side out. Megan is on creeping over to the middle, see if she could find a poach there. friend, your worst enemy that net. Mm-hmm. She loves to run around that forehand when she's dinking. I love it. It, it. it has a similar look to her forehand Ernie. It all all blends together very nicely. Nice cover by Etta. These girls are in it. What? And it's out. Wow, it, those logs, I'm telling you, from the brushes have been helping them out here in game number two. Giving them a different look and pushing them away from the non-volley zone line. My favorite lob defense is lobbing them first. <laughs> right game one going to Dazan and Wright. Brosh is looking to push this to a game three. Four point game. They're using the drop shot, Michelle. I don't really see anybody necessarily slowing the game down. Does that make sense? No, right, it doesn't. What, what do you mean? <laughs> It's just, still fast paced. Yeah, even what even though they're doing drop shots and digging, the it's pace still of the play fast. is very fast paced, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely um, changed in the last few years with the pedal technology and the surface and, and the foaming inside the paddles just speeds up the game a lot. So um, it's exciting to watch. All right, Megan is on at a right, able to gain two points there on the side out. Ooh, and a high third shot works for Mary Brasha there. a lot, but this time unsuccessful. 
you're seeing uh, Mary Brasha stacking on the right side, which they did not do in game number one. What a drop. Rinse and repeat on that one. 8-4 now. Takes it back. I liked some of those swings, but uh, might have pushed herself into a corner there, <laughs> Maggie. Wow. Yeah, and now Megan Dazon really bringing the heat. You could tell um, she's really just slapping that ball right now. Great anticipation as Ederite swings over into Mary Brasha. Crowds get into it here. Point here, game number two. Two points closer to taking it to game three. Oh, a lot of forced errors on the other side. And with that, a timeout is called. Timeout called, very interesting game two. Rosh is one point away from putting it to game three. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back. The Veolia LA Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka, is brought to you by... Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. By Rain, clean energy for everyone. By Select Medical, the exclusive physical therapy partner of the PPA Tour. By Selkirk, we are pickleball. And by Vizzy, a flavor for every vibe. Game point. swing through, might have tapped Brasha on that one. But that is the type of precision and energy and focus you expect in a game point scenario there. So good. Game two going to the Brashas. Got a game three coming up for this bronze medal match. Who will get to the podium here at the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Rob Cassidy and Michelle Esquivel here. We'll be right back with game three.
Imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable, reconciling human progress and environmental protection. Veolia. And welcome back to the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka 2024 here on Grandstand Court. Game three, last game of the day for us. Brashas, Jazan, right. Game three, here we go. John Wright won it. The local girls, Brashas, looking to keep the hardware here, close by in LA. Almost a beautiful pickup by Wright there. Good from Mary Brasha. What in the world? A little bit of stay on your side with that one, huh? That was gorgeous. Ooh. Same gal. Game three up for grabs here. Winner makes the podium. Loser has to go home. Right, with the final word. Michelle, any predictions, or am I just looking at the most even-killed match I've ever witnessed? It's pretty even, um, but in this game three, especially here in the beginning, Etta Wright and Megan Dizon are playing a lot more aggressively. They're driving a little bit more. Their dinks have a little bit more pace. Their footwork has, has gotten a lot livelier, so uh, if they could keep that up and gain points, um, it might be, might be trouble for the brushes. Oh, almost for the full reset. Great spot there by Mary Brasha. She didn't have to hit it hard. She just put it in the perfect place. A little confusion between Megan Dazan and Etta Wright. was looking good. And she's got the great defense, almost rushing that, that last one, the one that will get her to the kitchen line, almost rushing that one a little bit. Break that one up into a couple. And I had a right can't miss. Dijon with the pressure. Ooh, a lot from Dijon.
goodness, what's it take to win a point around here? <laughs> Getting wild. Game three. Good eye, right, letting it sail deep. There's very little time to identify based off the trajectory of that ball that it's going off the court. Here we go. I sense a streak coming here. My nose might be off. Two one two. Nice. This has definitely been my favorite match um, out of all the bronze medal matches as it's Definitely, you know, close, <laughs> close. The only one that went to game three. Yeah. It's definitely in my top five. Oh. We've seen that. Such a patient player at a right. Going for that attack. It's not there. Shake and bake from the Brasha sisters. Nothing like some teamwork to build some momentum. Six is acquired. The side switch occurs. Ladies have one minute to regroup here. Game three. And if you're interested in watching the championship court, and after this match only, <laughs> you could go ahead and watch on Pickleball TV, Prime Video, and on the Tennis Channel. Very cool. I love it. <laughs> I gotta say, it has been a pleasure sharing Grandstand with, with everybody this weekend. Grandstand has been popping off all weekend with good matches. Yes, it has. Just, uh, even the, the Lina Rafa match versus right. Ben and, uh, and Anna, Anna Bright, Bright mm -hmm. that happened on this tour was a, was a very, very great match, fun to watch. Yes, and uh, if you missed out on all the action, you could go back on YouTube, subscribe to PPA, and and rewatch. Yeah, follow along on, on all the exciting play that's been happening all weekend long. Get some notes and get back out there and play the game yourself. Good old pickleball all around the world. Let's go. Conclusion, game three right now.
And again with that backhand volley, the net just shutting Etta down. Can she find it in time to salvage game three? Down four. point of the match. Incredible stamina, incredible focus. Scoreless here since the side switch. Perhaps a request for a new ball. This guy might be a little out of round. We'll need all four players to agree. He's got no problem getting rid of that ball. Ball can go out of round, could have a crack in it. Six now. Maggie told that Falcon ball. Gives her that fantastic opportunity. But a great play from Megan Dizan nonetheless. Stuck on six here in game three. There's that lob pattern again. Oh! Yeah, yeah, that was the pattern they were using a lot in game two, which helped them get that game. So maybe we might see that here in game three a little bit more. What? Oh my goodness, Maggie Brasha. Maggie! <laughs> How do you put that on the shirt so that when people read it, they say, Maggie! <laughs> Is that possible? Oh, there she is. Oh, had a right defending the middle well. And legend Chris Miller in the stands. No. Uh, uh. Watching the game. A good eye from Maggie Brasha. Very focused, very dialed in. I do admire how these ladies, that the errors, the, the, the mistakes, just roll off of next point, showing up fresh. Still stuck at six. Ooh. Doors are closing as we approach the late game here of game three.
Just still thinking here. All four players in all day mode here. Finally, they set it up so Mary Brasha could put that ball down. It's the exact right time to do it, too. The thing about waiting is, you know, when you do see that opportunity, you can't just dink it. You got to do it when, it when it shows itself. It's a perfect time. Perfect time to attack. They're off the six, Michelle. They are off the six. First point scored for them since the side switch. Officially off of the six. Now it's time for Megan and Etta to close the gap here. Four, seven, one. <laughs> That'll do it. Get that Etta right forehand in the middle of the court. Nothing like it. Challenges it just out of her reach. Mary calls for the no switch here. Blistering passing shot. And is on and right, gaining momentum. Trailing only by one now here on this side out. Six seven now. Six seven two. Lob third. Out. Nice little run though. Yeah. Absolutely. Second serve. Who's going to dig deeper here? Contact ball also in play. No ground gained on that serve possession. Megan Dijon at her right. The window is open. Shot of her own, sets up Maggie for point. Winning the rally, pushing them to second serve. Very in. The honest line calls from the Brashas. It's a tough ball to watch go by. Good trajectory from Etta. Right, taking care of business. Epic. Wow.
And finally, at a right, Megan is on. Take the lead here in game number three. Another world-class point here on Grandstand Court. And the Brushes call a timeout here in game number three. They are down by two points. All right, and we might take our last break of the day, guys. Coming down to it here at the Veolia LA Open. We'll be right back. Time is in, 9-7-1, game three. Haymakers. Setting up at a right, Megan Dazan. The teamwork is real. Match point, Michelle Esquivel. Let's see if Etta Wright could serve this out for the bronze medal. Second serve, one hold away from critical side out. Match point, folks. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Epic trust in her eye, the Brasha eye, the eye of the Brasha. Mm -hmm. Match point number two here. Relief for those rooting for the brushes right now as they trail by three here. Tough miss. Gotta breathe a little bit, make them play. Slow it down, get a nice good serve here. No big deal. At a right, up for the challenge. Gonna have to hold off two more match points here. It's bronze medal match. Podium on the line. Veolia LA Open 2024. Yeah, you gotta swing at that. Yes. Second serve. Match point. She was not holding back. And here we are with another side out. Four bronze medal game points saved. The drop clears the net. 
Megan Dijon dishes it out. Clockwork. I'd like to see the brushes settle in here. Right. On this side out. so hard just to get one point on that scoreboard. Now trailing by two. Yeah. Ernie denied. That ball just out of her reach to do what she wanted with it. Very nice. Seat. Better nine than seven points for the brushes, but they still have to save two more, and they're calling another time out. We'll keep it out here for sure. Yes. Nine, seven, as long as it's by two, it's a tricky spot to be, right? Yes. One point game here at the Violia L8 Open, presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Yola, Lifetime, Carvana, Skechers. Thank you guys so much for your support for making this tournament happen, and Michelle Esquivel. Glad you're here. Yeah, I'm ready to get some deep Eddie vodka mojito. Oh, you are. Right? They, yeah, they have. They actually have a sample truck out here, and yeah. you know, just take a little sample. Why yeah, get not? Get the party started yeah, a little. Yeah, they bit. have no. a little margarita one, a mojito, and uh, I think people are walking around with their cans around here. So, you know, it's been a great atmosphere all weekend. There's been, you know, all sorts of. Generations, families out here having a good time. I've seen the juniors, I've seen the seniors. It's been a great vibe all weekend. Wrapping up to a nice last day match point, grandstand court. Here we go. Oh my goodness, cutthroat, and that is gonna do it. The bronze medal match goes to Etta Wright and Megan Dazan. Yes. Great hard work, great hustle, world-class pickleball at times. Yes, the number two seed played incredibly yesterday, and they came back today to take the bronze home. Congratulations. And also, huge, huge shout-out to hometown girls, Maggie Brasha, Mary Brasha. They played exceptional all week long. Um, make sure to keep looking out for those two. But... Uh, we're going to go. We're going to head off to the Red Rock Open in St. George, Utah. So we're going to pack our bags up. We're going to take it home over there. And uh, we're excited to continue the PPA tour with our next stop. That's right, guys. So thank you so much, our viewers from around the country and around the world, for joining us here on Grandstand, Open, on Grandstand Court this weekend, the Veolia LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Make sure to tune in to Championship Court on Pickleball TV. On behalf of Rob Cassidy and Michelle Esquivel and all of our broadcast team here, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.